Okay, so what you're gonna see is just a little flight around here in the parking lot. Um, I didn't get the disconnect issue today. I flew it. I used the cable from the Zeno 2 on there and I didn't uh, I didn't have a problem it, with disconnecting. Now, of course, I didn't, you know, I didn't really risk anything. I just flew it around here in the parking lot a little bit, you know, just to see how it was gonna act. I was trying to get it to disconnect, you know. I was actually a couple times tapping on the controller and stuff, you know, <laughs> uh, to, uh, to get that to happen, but it, uh, it never happened. So I think it was the cable as far as that goes. And I redid all of the, the IMU stuff and all of that other mumbo jumbo that's on, you know, that's in that list there. You know, I redid all that. And I think I said something in the video about it. I, the problem when I was trying to originally get it in the air was that I didn't know. And how are you supposed to know this, right? I had no idea that the transmitter was not bound to the drone. I mean, who would have thought you would buy something like that and it not be you know, connected. And it, it, I had no idea that that wasn't bound to that. So after like three or four days of pulling my freaking hair out, that's when I went online and went, okay, let me just bind it for the heck of it. Not knowing that it wasn't. And then I found out when I was doing it, it said bound and you know ready to go. So that's after that. It was only after that, that I was able to eventually get the motors to start and all that other mumbo jumbo. So yeah, wow. I mean, you buy a drone, you think that the damn the controller is going to be bound to the drone. You have you have no way of knowing that that's not the case. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. All right, guys. Have a nice day. It's starting to get dark already. Okay, so it's there. It says GPS thirteen. Ready to fly. Okay, so let's see if we could take off. We can. So, here we go. Here we are again. See if this is in normal mode, it is. So anyway, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna fly around here. And just wait for the disconnect. Now remember, this is not the, this is not the um, cable for the Femi Mini. It's the cable for the, uh, not Femi. God dang, I keep Femi in this thing. The Zeno 2. The cable's from the Zeno 2, not the, the Zeno Mini. Okay, well, so far it's not doing anything, but I'm, you know, I, as soon as I take off, it will. Okay, guarantee you that. As soon as I start flying away, it's going to do something stupid. But hopefully it's it knows where I'm at enough to where it won't fly away.
So I'm just gonna languish around here, guys. I'm not going anywhere because I wanna see if this thing's gonna do the disconnect thing. Plus, you know, I got that firmware hanging out there. And then I updated the, well, it says I finished updating the, look at that crab walking. It's a Xeno. Okay, it's, even though it's a little Xeno, it's still a Xeno. Look at that, look at that. It was going off to the side there. I was pushing it straight forward and it was going off to the side. Look at it, look at that. Ha. It's a Xeno. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. It's a Xeno. Okay, well, it's not disconnected, so I'm extremely happy because I really didn't want to, you know, send this thing back to, uh, you know, I don't like returning crap. I'm not a big fan of returning. I'd rather just work it out. You know what I mean? I mean, it didn't seem like, once I got the motor started, it didn't seem like it was mechanically broken. The motors spun up and it, they ran, so. Just all these little, these little boogers. So I redid all of those calibrations again, the IMU and the, you know, all them ones that were on that list right there. Okay, so I'm just actually just riding around in circles, okay? Just trying to get the disconnect to happen. And I'm dancing the leaves around, I'm moving leaves. All right, so, yeah. I mean, I have no intention of ever using the obstacle avoidance on this thing. So I don't really give a crap. I downloaded that app and by the way, just to let you know, if you download the app with Windows 7, the file will be corrupt. Just to let you know that. If you download the assistant in Windows 7 and go to open it, it'll say file corrupt. You have to go to Windows 10. See, I got a bunch of PCs, right? Okay. So I went to uh, my uh, laptop, which I have Windows 10 on the laptop because I don't like Windows 10. So my big rigs all have Windows that's not Windows uh, 10. Um, so what I did was I went to my laptop that had Windows 10 to get that to download and not be corrupt. So just so you know that, if you've had trouble downloading that Femi Assistant, um, yeah, if you have trouble downloading the Femi Assistant, you have to download it in Windows 10 and then decompress it onto a zip drive or whatever. And if you wanna move it over to the Windows 7, you can do it there, you know, you can, unpack it in the win uh, on the Windows 10 interface, put it on a zip drive, move it over to the Windows 7, and then it'll work fine. But you have to unpack it. Okay, it seems like it's okay now. So you have to unpack it in the uh, on the Windows 10 and then copy it over. So, oh, shut up. Call Mr. Magoo, okay? That's what I'm saying. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I uh, that's another bug worked out so we're getting it man we're getting it okay all right guys have a nice day